Hi everyone, it's me Laura and thanks so much for coming to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for subscribing and for all of my subscribers who have been here since day one, welcome back. So you guys, I am currently here at work. I cannot talk long, you guys. I'm literally at work. But I just wanted to stop and just let you ladies know that this month I actually took Provera. So I took Provera and I'm not sure if you ladies know this or not, but the new doses is actually for 10 days. I know some ladies say that they took it for seven, but it's actually for 10 for what my doctor prescribed for me. So I am current. I am currently on day nine. I have one more pill to take, and it's like a little small, tiny white pill, you guys. I have to show you guys what it looks like. But I'm currently on Provera. I have been taking it. My last day of Provera will be February the 6th. As I stated, that'll be my 10th pill. And then once Unflo shows her ugly head, then we will be taking Clomid 150. So you guys are probably wondering why I put going against the doctor's orders. So ladies, I'm actually going to take the Clomid 150, but my doctor actually wanted me to take Ledrazol 2.5 this month. I'm not doing that. The reason why is because Clomid has already been in my system. And so I just wanna know if it's going to work or not. I don't wanna switch to another medication because I'm already on about four of them. You guys know I still take the Metformin, the 1000, which I'm supposed to be taking 1500. And um, I'm also taking the Provera, and then I'll be taking Clomid. And I'm just like, so now you wanna switch to Ledger? Is all no. The prescriptions so, all over to the pharmacy at one time. So since I never picked up the clothing 150, I had the 150 there. I had the ledgers all for 2.5, and I had the Provera. Um. So and she wanted me to take the ledgers all, but I will let my doctor know that I did not take that this month. And so once we do start it, I'm still gonna do all of the regular things that I should be doing, as in getting my follicle scan, getting my progesterone levels checked. Um, and as well as maintaining my metformin for the 1000, as well as taking my prenatal vitamins. So, cross our fingers that this month may be some baby dust if we can get on flow to show up because she is acting so crazy. I'm gonna start walking back to my desk, you guys. So, I am going to see when my cycle starts. I'll let you ladies know. And that way we can go ahead and start the Clomid for 150. So I know my insurance doesn't cover the Clomid. I'm not sure if you guys have insurance that does, but if your insurance does not cover it, um, for my prescription, it's $48. And I get mine from CVS. So I'm not sure where you ladies go, but just in case you guys are needing that reference, there you go. <laughs> so you guys, um, the only thing that I can really say that about the Provera that I do not like is that the Provera it really did make me cramp up sometimes like very intense cramping like where I had to put my head in the pillow because it hurt so bad and I was telling my boyfriend like babe like this stuff really hurts like it hurts worse than like my actual period cramps which is weird but I know that must mean that the medication is working so fingers crossed <laughs> But yes, ladies, I'm gonna keep you guys all updated with everything that is going on. Thank you guys so much for joining my channel and showing so much love and support. And I will see you ladies on the next video. Bye.